I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. I'd like the truth, even if it means I was way off. And with that, I'll say the media played me. South Carolina, Nikki can't get any love in South Carolina no, either. No, no. Why are, why, let me ask you, why are you guys MAGA? Why are you Trump? Why do you support Trump so much? Liberty and justice for all. Amen. That's what he's not getting. Is it crazy? Hey, Close say, the borders. Close the borders. Close the borders. Close the borders. Get the out of here. We do not like the propaganda. We're here for the truth. That's it. Get we like the Joe out of here. Get what what do you, what do you, you think go. about CNN, MSNBC, all of the other things? country's gone that the next generation your generation isn't smart it, it, like is all all brain dead what do you tell them and i'll tell you what there's a lot of propaganda going on there's only real people out here that understand the real media yeah we understand the truth we like people that are truthful all right, so no Yes, a subscriber recently sent this video to me. I was impressed when I watched the clip. This is the strategy Democrat are using for a very long time to get young voters, you know, to do things like this. They even spend a lot of money paying them off, you know, to say things like this. If you notice, Biden recently joined TikTok, you know, to capture young voters. If Republicans could actually follow through, you know, with young people coming out to do this, it will go a long way. Why do not Trump is gaining ground with young voters? I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. I'd like the truth, even if it means I was way off. And with that, I'll say the media played me. They played me really good. I was so wrong. See, I was a Bernie Sanders supporter. For once, I saw a politician who actually cared about people, and I was planning on voting for him when something happened and he just got bulldozed. So I decided not to vote for Trump because I heard that he was not a very good character. And the more I heard about him, the more I disliked him. He played too much golf. He was firing people for no reason. He was probably in there for just clout, for egotistical reasons. But March 2020 happened and I got pretty concerned. I needed to know who the good guys were because I knew something bad was happening. And so I looked around. Mark Zuckerberg, are you him? Who's the good Yes, normally I hate to do this. I took a decision recently, like I will not react to videos partaking to the view. When I saw this video, it was important we take an exclusive look that this lady is wise. She has been a fool for a very long time. That is according to her. She didn't see the truth. She never saw reason to like Trump, but along the way, due to what is going on, she had to capture everything. How Trump was painted to her is now a story. She did a segment put out on TikTok, you know, explaining to people why Trump is not what they think. And I pray other people can see this to follow through. Let me not talk much. Let's proceed to watch this video. And so I looked around. Mark Zuckerberg, are you him? Who's the good guys? Who's on our side? I talked to a friend and suddenly it became clear. Trump was in there for a reason. And all those times he said I was in there to return power to you. He really was. I watched his news press briefings live. And then I saw the media totally spin all of his words out of control. A man who appeared to be rational and forward thinking and keeping everybody on track during a very hectic and scary time wasn't the man they portrayed on the news. It's then that I realized I had been played and that I hated the guy for absolutely no reason. But now, the more I hear Trump speak, the more I absolutely love him. He really is returning power to the people. And he says things like, you have too many middlemen in your way. And with the new technology that's coming, it all makes sense. He was in there to help us, to help us get to the other side because a new world is headed for us, the people, and he is going down as the greatest president in American history. 
I'm glad I discovered the truth about him. And I hope the rest of the world one day does too. Yes, before we proceed watching this video, let me say this. This is something that a lot of people are realizing recently. I've watched a lot of videos where people are coming out after seeing the truth. The impression they used to have pertaining to Trump is changing. Yeah, because things are not hiding like before. Just take a look at the numerous persecutions of Trump. You know, I'm just impressed that this lady, you know, saw it and had to change her mind. It would be important to see how people spreading this information so other people can realize. And, and I watched him here yesterday because all weekend I was ruminating about what he said about getting us out of NATO. I don't think that yeah. people understand what yeah. that means. Yeah. You know, I saw this video of all these young MAGA guys celebrating Trump and Bubba. Well, you know what? You guys will be draft age. Yeah. You want to start up with Russian, the Russians going into Ukraine and then to Crimea and then to Poland. What's next? Mm -hmm. France, Germany, Italy. You think Americans are not going to be involved in that kind of a war? That's what you're looking at with this guy. You know, I mean, I hate to bring up Hitler, but before, before Hitler became powerful, yeah. he stuck his little toe in. Mm -hmm. And the Brits and the Americans, everybody appeased him and yeah. said, he's not going to get worse. And then they gave over the Sudetenland to him. Yeah. And then the next thing you know, he's invading Poland. And then he's occupying France. And then he gets Mussolini on his side. This is what Putin is going to do. It's very, very urgent that we not elect this man. Yeah. It's not just about us. It's not about just the economy. It's about the world's geopolitical issue. Well, and that's precisely that's, my point. And, the and these are boys so high. who are 13, 14, 15, they will be the ones to go. They will have the draft back again. I lived during the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. my, my husband now had to join the National Guard to get out of it because, and those poor boys came back with Agent Orange, all sorts of. My dad fought in Vietnam. Yes, if you ask me why I hate these ladies, reasons like this. Biden is taking people to war. Now, Joy Behar is turning the story around. Oh, Trump wants to go to war with NATO. Insane. I don't get why these people, you know, cannot see the truth. Joy Behar has not stand up one day to say, oh, Biden is involving in this, involving in that. She's not doing that. Because young voters stood up to say, oh, Trump should be that person. Joy Bear is not happy about that. They never see the truth. And I wish one day they should realize this is the same story I got. Oh, Trump will take people to World War III. Oh, Trump, you know, I saw that everywhere. I think that time I just started this YouTube channel. Look at we now. Trump never even did what they were singing. Thank you guys for always being there, sharing out my videos. God bless you. And please share this video.